Ladies and gentlemen, man, you can't make this stuff up. Next gen NBA 2K21, my bad, y'all. I just woke up. Mind blowing news, man. 2K just dropped their little trailer to the city. I guess that's what they're calling the neighborhood now. I haven't watched it yet myself. I'm gonna play it on mute, of course, because you know they got copyright and all that on there. I can't. This is what I look like when I just wake up. I never record when I just wake up, but I had to make this exception right here. Hey, if y'all new to the channel, man, you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video. Let's get into it. The city! Welcome to the city! Okay. Oh! Where, what city is this? <laughs> okay. All right, so this is giving me serious Detroit vibes. <laughs> Yo, this is hard. I love the new environment. Leave what you know behind. Accept that beat sponsorship, that's still there. There's a 2K gate that opens up. It's time for something bigger. What, what are those? Hold on, what are those? Okay, so it looks like there's multiple different, right? Unless they just have different statues around. Okay, Western Wildcats, uh, Northside Knights. Oh, that's gonna be me. I think that's gonna be me off rip. Beasts of the East and the South City Vipers. Oh, and they got a TikTok sponsorship. I just, I don't know why my business mind just is a surprise every time. They got skateboards. Apparently, you can do tricks and shit. You can ollie. <laughs> the Northside Knights. Oh, that's so hard! Northside Knights. Hey, uh, y'all gonna have to be rocking with me because this is gonna be me for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I left Toronto. I live in Atlanta now. But I'm still from the north side. Hold on. Now, why don't y'all explain this shit to me a little bit? I kind of like the beast of the east. I'm getting some serious city New York Philly vibes. South side. I hope it's not all the same square. That's what I'm worried about. 2K, I hope I didn't run the same square back and just reskin it. That would make me personally sad. They got the DJ thing back. Gatorade facilities coming back. Whoa, it's big this year. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, okay, so a couple things. Now, this is my first time watching it, guys. So I'm not going to see everything, nor am I going to try and break everything down. I'm just trying to catch as much as possible. The Gatorade facility is way bigger. Is there a reason for that? Is there a reason this place is considerably bigger, even though, like, nobody really uses it outside of point guards who want to dribble all clock? There has to be a reason why this is bigger. They got Gatorade rental courts, and they have a timer on them. That's, yo, that's hard, bro. That's hard. Listen, if this is like a my court, where you could come with your friends and just run games. Okay, so they got new dances in there. Uh, 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 uh. Is there a conference store? <laughs> There's a beat store. Drip Brothers? <laughs> hey, 2K. And they got the Jordan sponsorship back, I think. Actually, they might not have. That dead ass might just be a Jordan store. Okay, there's different stores in the neighborhood. The Jordan store. What is this, what is this, what is this? Pro-Am, okay, so Pro-Am is a turn. I'm not seeing a lot in terms of gameplay. These are all anime, a lot of these, oh, okay, I like that. Hold up, hold up, you can't just sneak that in there, man. Pink Diamond Plaza. Is this the anti up? No, it's not. These are these are okay. Ah, oh, I got gas for no reason. <laughs> Never mind, guys. These are real NBA players. This is probably some my team stuff, right? Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, these are for events. Oh, they got their own like thing for events now. 
the city. So this little dome in the middle is where they run events. That's pretty cool. Now, 2K, please don't tell me this. Every every park is the same square, bro. Please, 2K, please don't tell me that now. Everybody's been asking for affiliations back. It looks like they said that it looked like it's finally returning. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'll say this, guys. Now, I was there at the 2K18 event last year when uh, they blew everyone's minds with the neighborhood. And is that what they called it? The playground. It might have been the playground. I, either way, regardless, it does not matter, guys. It does not matter. I was mind blown because it almost felt like an open world 2K. And we never seen nothing like that before. Now, this is less mind blowing than 2K18. And we still know how 2K18 turned up. That being said, I think it is going to be beautiful. Yo, as long as it's not all the same squares, I'm happy. And it seemed like so far from all the gameplay blogs that we've heard that there's going to be a decent jump in the gameplay as well. And that's what I'm really, really excited about. This visual stuff is just cool for the eye. Like, I just kind of want to know that the art team put in some effort here and it's not just going to be the same block, the same boring block that we're used to. Really what we should be focused on, if we're being honest with each other, guys, is this park optimized? Is this right here optimized, man? Are we going to see frame skips and lag? Is there going to be... Can we glitch courts? Hmm? That's really what we should be worried about, man. Is the frame rate going to be consistent? Man, is, is, that, is it going to drop? That's really what we should be worried about, if we're being honest with each other. Hey, I'll say this, bro. I'm cautious to get too excited because I know what happened to 2K18, bro. And I don't want that to happen again. At the same time, you know what I'm saying? You get... Yo, when, when it comes to games or movies or any form of entertainment, if your standards are this high, it becomes impossible to be happy with the result. You know what I'm saying? So in my head, I'm telling myself, calm down, agent. Calm down. You haven't seen much just yet. But I like the new... I just like how much new stuff there is. Maybe that's what I'm guessing. I just like it. Too many new stuff going on right now. I like that out of you, 2K. I like that. <laughs> the little DJ thing is back. I hope there's proximity chat. Are they doing like workouts in the background? Yo, this is going on some yoga class in the back. The backpacks and shit are back. Whole bunch of new clothes I haven't seen before. That's tough. And they, they, they obviously have the day and night cycles as well. Just based off the fact that it's night here and there's day and a whole bunch of the other clips. Uh, I like that. I like that. Hey, 2K21 next gen is is the really, hey, let's be honest. I'm gonna end the video like this, right? First of all, if y'all new to the channel, but you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. We got all these videos every other day. This is really 2K21. Are we clear about that? The current gen version, that wasn't really a new game, right? This is the 2K21 that we've been waiting since last September for. So 2K, don't let us down. It's a generation jump. You got everyone excited. Don't 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 run around bamboozling everybody, man. It's, it's bad for business. But right now, I can't help but have a smile on my face. I hope I don't regret it later. <laughs> hey man, let me know what y'all think about this in in the comment section down below. Y'all new to the channel, man? You haven't already? Be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to drop these videos every other day. Second, the game drops. We're definitely gonna be pushing daily. We'll see how that goes. I'm curious what the whole build system and stuff, stuff like that's gonna be looking like. Uh, hopefully, they drop some news on that in the upcoming days. But uh, some videos on the screen right now. Some links in the description and a big red subscribe button to hit. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.